What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Okay, we got a lot going on here right now in our country. Uh, let's go over a bunch of things going on here right now. First of all, the largest space rocket ever was just launched by SpaceX here today. Take a look at what happened because it's absolutely astounding. Take a look at this. Katie, does this all look normal to you as it's happening right now? As of right now, we are awaiting stage separation. It looks like stage separation might be a little, let's see, the super heavy a little bit late. Let's listen to them. Yeah, Kate, right now it looks like we saw the start of the flip, but obviously we're seeing from the ground cameras the entire Starship stack continuing to rotate. We should have had separation by now. Obviously, this is uh, does not appear to be a nominal situation. Yeah, it does appear to be spinning, but I do want to remind everyone that everything after clearing the tower was icing on the cake. Whoa. Oh. Uh, there... <laughs> All right, Katie. And there, as you saw, as we yes. promised, an Tell us what just you know, happened there. Um, Everybody's clapping. Was that separation or...? So there was, there's two big pieces of this rocket. There's the Starship itself and there's the booster underneath. The booster had those 33 engines at about two minutes, 50 seconds. They were supposed to separate. Where that booster is done, it goes back to Earth and, uh, and then the Starship's engines light and go. But that separation between those two really big pieces did not happen. And so then it is tumbling as both pieces together, tumbling around, and uh, clearly with the engines um, led to explosions on the vehicle. You know, some, I mean, I'm sure everyone is really is, is disappointed in some ways, but this is very much a test. And this Starship project takes very audacious steps for good reason, because it's the ship that will take us to the moon. Um, the biggest goal for them was to make sure they cleared the launch pad so the launch pad, pad could be used again quickly, because they have, they have... But now this was a development test. A because so even, with the explosion, even with the explosions we just saw, you're saying this is a victory for them because they cleared the launch pad and this is going incrementally in steps. Absolutely. Yeah, so let me know your thoughts here in the comments. The rocket explodes. Was it a success? Was it a failure? Without innovation, there won't be any progress. Elon Musk eventually wants to have rockets go to Mars. And they're saying with new innovations in speed that we could be able to get rockets to Mars in just a few months. But if they explode, we won't be going there at all. So a lot of testing, a lot of progress will need to be made. But at least we're having a space program yet again after years of not having one. And remember that about half of all the satellites in outer space now are from SpaceX. So this is obviously a new program with these massive, massive rockets. This is not the normal stuff that they use to send up the satellites. So Godspeed. Also, as you can see here, Fox News settled a defamation suit uh, with the Dominion voting systems for almost a Billion dollars, seven hundred and eighty-seven point five million dollars. Yikes! So basically, Fox News um, settles, and you guys can let me know your thoughts here. But 
uh, decided they couldn't win the lawsuit or didn't want to go through it and put their people on the stand. Uh, you can see here, a lawyer for Dominion Voting System said, quote, the truth matters. Lies have consequences, said a lawyer for Dominion Voting Systems. As Fox News abruptly agreed here to pay $787.5 million to resolve a defamation suit filed for Dominion Voting Systems over the network's promotion of misinformation about the 2020 election, averting a lengthy and embarrassing trial just as a packed courtroom was seated in anticipation of hearing opening arguments. This lawsuit would have put uh, people like Tucker Carlson and Maria Bartomo on the stand and made them testify in front of jurors and a judge. Fox News decided that they couldn't win and decided to pay almost a billion dollars instead. You guys can let me know your thoughts here in the comments. House Republicans pass a transgender sports ban for schools. The bill, which is unlikely to pass in the Senate, which is controlled by the Democrats, would prohibit schools that receive federal funding from allowing people, quote, whose sex is male, to participate in sports designed for women or girls. Personally, I think this is the right thing. I think if you're born as a man, you shouldn't be competing in women's sports. I, you know, I, I get that, you know, the whole transgender thing. And if you're transitioning, I get it. Some people want to do that. But when you go to compete in a sport against a woman and and you're born as a man it's just physically unfair to women we've seen the 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 stories about the the swimmer who went and transitioned and just you know obliterated the women and won the the gold medal or whatever and then we've seen these other stories of you know now people making a mockery of it where men just go and say they're a woman and uh go and just you know a bodybuilder just did it just to make a mockery of the system. Oh, yeah, I'm a woman. And this is the problem is people can just say it now. And then, then, then there's the other issue of do you check them? <laughs> can you even do that? <laughs> yeah, it's just you give them your thoughts in the comments. I know this is getting ridiculous to a point, but is it even are you even allowed to check people? I mean, and even so, like, what if they haven't gone through the surgery, but they're saying they're a woman? Like, it's just, this is just too much, right? If if you're born a man, you shouldn't be competing in a women's sports, right? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Next up, as states are cutting Medicaid, which almost 100 million people in the United States are on, believe it or not. They're doing this because the pandemic is declared over now. And um, a lot of people are going to be almost like 18 million people are going to be cut off Medicaid now that they're checking uh, for the requirements. Some people fear they'll mistakenly end coverage for millions of eligible people. And this is a legitimate concern. States are resuming Medicaid eligibility checks that were paused during the pandemic. Advocates fear this will be the largest Medicaid losses in history. Quote. Yeah. And I will be keeping you up to date with that on our YouTube channel here. So make sure you're subscribed with the bell icon on. Uh, this is a big deal because, it's, like I said, almost 100 million Americans on Medicaid. I think it was like 90-some million Americans on Medicaid. So, yeah, that's, that's a big deal. It's a big deal. Uh, Republicans, Marjorie Taylor Greene's silenced by her own Republicans in a committee after accusing Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas of lying. The, her own Republicans silenced her. Take a look at the footage here. I thought this was crazy. Here we go. 
No, I reclaim my time. You're a liar. The chair asks the uh, gentlelady if um, she wishes to seek unanimous consent to modify or withdraw her remarks. I will not withdraw my remarks because the facts show the proof. Uh, identifying or calling someone a liar is unacceptable in this committee. And I make the ruling that we strike those words. But when we strike, uh, it does terminate the time of the individual who is speaking. So uh, the gentlelady is no longer recognized. I don't have the footage of that beforehand, but this came in reference to Green and others in discussing efforts to defund the FBI. And Democrats immediately moved to strike her words, arguing it violated House rules making attacks based on personality, and Green declined to withdraw them. Democratic ranking member Benny Thompson said, quote, I've been on this committee from day one. We've never had an accusation made of any member like that, and I'm appalled. We all ought to be embarrassed at it. We are a better committee than what the gentle lady is trying to make of this committee. So I appealed the ruling of the chair. The motion on Green failed in a party line 11 to 9 vote. But just minutes later, Democrats succeeded in blocking the Georgia lawmaker from speaking further after she accused Mayorkas of failing to work to stem the flow of fentanyl into the United States. She says, quote, you're a liar. You are letting this go on, and the numbers prove it. Yeah, so to say things are heated uh, is an understatement. So I'll keep you up to date here with everything going on here in our country on a daily basis. Make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon so you don't miss out on new videos that come out here every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's completely free to subscribe. Here's some new videos that you should watch next. Click here to see Putin's new attacks targeted at the U.S. Or Saudi Arabia and Putin screwed the U.S.? That's right. Click here to see why. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.